I stopped sleeping with my husband due to his drinking alcohol and impotence. After drinking, he became a different person, belligerent, and I believe now that other spirits were attached to him. Okay, um, husband, spirits attached to him, wife. Wife stopped sleeping with the husband. Why are you even in the relationship? Is my question. All right. You are staying in the relationship because of security issues, obviously, because you're firstly you are not addressing this issue that you have with your husband. Your husband gets drunk, you know he's getting drunk and you know his spirits are influencing him, that's all fine. He's impotent, which means he's very, very angry with women and not wanting to deal with that. The fact that he's drunk also or drunk drunk it also probably means that he's probably not going to deal with that for some time. Are you being loved? Yes or no? No. You are not being loved. There's no love coming at you. Why do you want to stay in a relationship where there's no love? That's the real question. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. Why stay in a relationship where there's no love? Because I feel like I don't want love in my life. That's why you've got a law of attraction thing going on with regard to being loved. He's got some anger issues and he's got lots of issues, but I can't address his issues because he hasn't asked the question. You've asked the question. The question is regarding you've stopped sleeping with him. Why have you stopped, stopped sleeping with him? Have you talked to him? Well, I'm assuming that you have. If you've talked to him and he doesn't want to change, why are you still here? And the only reason I can see that why you would still there be there is because of security. There's something else you're getting from this relationship other than love, that you badly want, and you're willing to be put, put up with being unloved to get it. Does that make sense, everyone? There? So, with all relationship issues, look really, really seriously at why you're putting up with long-term issues. There's an issue in you that causes you to put up with a long-term issue, not in the other person. Quite often I have women coming to me quite often saying, oh, my husband gets drunk all the time, what should I do? How long has this been happening? 30 years. <laughs> what should I do? And then I ask him often, what have you already done? Oh, well, I've talked to him about this and I've talked to him about that and we often scream about it and we often fight about it. But they don't get the message. The message is they're not being loved and they want to stay. Why do they want that? That's what's coming at them. They need to learn something about love in that transaction. It's got nothing to do with the guy. When they learn that lesson in love, this guy may change, but he may not either. And you'll attract another guy who does love you. So look at the issue of security. For many people, security, it drives all of their sexual desire. The feeling of wanting to be safe that drives many people's sexual desire. The feeling of wanting to feel secure, safe, nurtured, that's because you don't feel secure, you feel unsafe and unnurtured. Let yourself release those emotions, then you will feel safe, secure and nurtured without having a person in your life, and ironically, you'll attract the person who you feel safe, secure and nurtured with as well. Is that okay? Yeah.